the niacin in coffee is useless unless the coffee is processed right. Here's how to make every cup nourish your niacin status. Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Masterjohn of ChrisMasterjohnPhD.com, and this is Chris Masterjohn Light, where the name of the game is Details, Schmeetails, just tell me what works. And today we're going to talk about niacin and coffee. So here's the thing. Coffee is rich in niacin. But the niacin in raw coffee beans is completely useless to our bodies. And the amount of niacin that we get from coffee is totally dependent on how that coffee is processed. Roasting coffee frees the niacin. Decaffeinating coffee gets rid of the niacin. So we want a dark roast, we want a strong coffee, and we want that caffeine. More specifically, compared to light roast, Dark roast coffee doubles the niacin content, the available niacin content, I mean. Italian roast, so-called heavy roast, darker than dark, triples the amount of available niacin compared to light roast. Decaffeination, by contrast, cuts the amount of niacin in half. Now, it also depends on how strong you like your coffee, because the niacin is not in the water, the niacin is in the beans. And when you make coffee, about 85% of the niacin in the coffee beans will come into your cup. But if you make your coffee with 5 grams of niacin versus 10 grams of niacin, you're getting half the amount of niacin. So as a general rule of thumb, you want about 10 grams of coffee per cup to consider that a good source of niacin. I just measured mine, and when I make a double shot of espresso, I weighed it out and I get about 12 grams of coffee in that double shot, and to me, that's a cup of coffee. So it all depends on how strong you want it. If you make weak coffee, it's gonna be a weak source of niacin. If you make strong coffee, it's going to be proportionally a better source of niacin. So science says you want your coffee strong and you want your coffee dark. Ladies, whether you also want your coffee to be tall, handsome, and rich is a preference that'll leave up to you. This episode is brought to you by Ancestral Supplements Living Collagen. Our Native American ancestors believed that eating the organs from a healthy animal would support the health of the corresponding organ of the individual. Ancestral Supplements has a nose-to-tail product line of grass-fed liver, organs, living collagen, bone marrow, and more all in the convenience of a capsule. For more information or to buy any of their products, go to ancestralsupplements.com. This episode is brought to you by Vitamins and Minerals 101. This is my new free 30-day course providing one lesson a day on each nutrient delivered straight to your inbox. It can go to your email or it can go to your Facebook Messenger. If you get the Messenger version, it's taught by Chris Masterbot, my baby bot, It's more interactive, there are more emojis, and there are more jokes. But both email and Facebook Messenger are incredibly educational. Each lesson covers why the nutrient is important to your health, how to know if you have too little or too much or the wrong balance with other nutrients, how to get it from food, and when you should think about supplementing. It is not a technical or advanced course. It is completely minimum in its technical jargon, and it is designed for the beginner with no background in nutrition and no background beyond high school in the basic sciences. Nevertheless, many people who have backgrounds in nutrition are saying that it is an amazing refresher course full of nuggets of valuable information in each lesson. Sign up completely free by Facebook Messenger or by email at chrismasterjohnphd.com slash 101. This episode is brought to you by Testing Nutritional Status, the ultimate cheat sheet. This is my recipe to empower you to banish any deficiency or nutritional imbalance from your body. I've been through the pain of my teeth falling apart, my stomach being in constant pain, and my OCD going off the rails during my stint with veganism to the point where panic attacks were the norm and I was afraid to eat any of the food in my house. I've been through the path of healing using nutrient-dense animal foods to nourish all the systems of my body and become a new person. But I've also learned that my needs change over time. The red meat and liver that were so healing in my recovery from veganism later started sapping my energy and brain power only to find out that I'm genetically predisposed to iron overload and need to manage it with blood donations. And I've learned from friends, colleagues, and clients that everyone is different. Your needs are not mine. Mine aren't what they were 10 years ago. 
Yours won't be what they are now in 10 years. That's why we need a precise recipe to know exactly what's missing, exactly what's overloaded, exactly what's imbalanced, and an action plan to fix things, and a way to measure our success. That's what I've done with Testing Nutritional Status, the ultimate cheat sheet. Get your copy at chrismasterjohnphd.com slash cheat sheet and use the code LIGHT20, that's L-I-T-E and the number 20, LIGHT20 to get 20% off. For ad-free versions of these episodes with transcripts that you can read and getting early access to the episodes often weeks or maybe even months ahead of time, you can sign up for the CMJ Master Pass at chrismasterjohnphd.com slash masterpass and use the code LIGHT10 to get 10% lifetime discount. The audio of this episode was enhanced and post-processed by Bob Devodian of Torian Mixing. You can find more of his work at torianonlinemixing.com. All right, I hope you found this useful. Signing off, this is Chris Master John of chrismasterjohnphd.com. This has been Chris Master John Light, and I will see you in the next episode.